What's going on, everybody? It's Dude's Boys, and welcome to a Drag Unity review. Let's get started with our replays. Uh, for the first replay, it's just going to be Drag Unity versus a mystery deck. I have no idea what this deck is about. All I know is that he banished, used graveyards. They go into more of the singles, as far as these plays, but I don't know. But I'll start off with this my Drag Unity limits. I try to use my combo, I try to numb something, use this effect to equip, use this effect to special something to go into my single play. I add Miss Valley to this card this so that I can spend some of Miss Valley that's so I can go into my link go into my dragon the armor with his effect to equip into the single play go into the single play go to the SC play then I spend some of the dragon the armor Leviathan to equip then I use the lance to equip then I use the lead to bring back my lance to special summon then I will use both of the equipped monsters effect to spread some of themselves. Then I go into my single 10, go to my secret 8 to use this effect to equip all three of the Dragon Unity cards. Go into my link, go into my other uh, synchro play, which is just going to be that single 6. Use the effect to add to this card. Go into my crystal, uh, crystal, crystal wing, and I pass with Lance. So I. Open up with at least three negates, that's already pretty good, and then he just special summon set to pass. Which is not really demonstrating what this deck is about, but I keep just calling it a mystery deck. I have no idea what's the main purpose of the deck. As you can see, that they had old lines that they all replayed before the ban list. So I just hit them with the OTK, nothing really special. Uh, go on to game two. This is where he actually pop off and he demonstrates what deck he actually is playing. So he starts off with the charge of barrage, like normal summon light swarm Raiden uses the fact to send and he used revival golem to a special summon just so he can go into it SCs. Uses SC to special summon and he go into a single five. Special summon the chaos creator. And he does a pretty decent board. The one thing that was stopping me was the Dead Escape Fox was anything that was sent to the field is banished instead. What hurts me because I need to have as much monsters as on the field as possible. What happened my links is this banished on my effects so I can't even use my uh, Dragon Unity Armor Grand's effect to banish to special summon because all my resources will be already banished. I tried to do something, but I, there's nothing else I can really do except for set and pass. And this where yes, he got me to special one of my monsters onto his field. He negated that effect, and then he tries to go for OTK, but he wasn't enough. So it goes on to my turn. All I really did was this normal summon dragon to use this effect to equip one of the guards' arm, and then just go into a black hole dragon. But I only did with the summon on in the attack. Sadly enough, that wasn't enough because he managed to still create his board. With Dead Escape Fox, managed to just come back and use the Nemesis card. This is actually the first time I actually use or see Nemesis come out and play. Not a lot of people would really use them that much, which is actually pretty disappointing because Nemesis are a really good card. It's a free special. At first, I thought it was going to be good with Thunder Dragon, but Thunder Dragons just got hit, so no one really uses them at all. So he goes into his Arc Nemesis Echoes and then goes for game. On to game three is where I semi blow off. I normally summon my Sentos, use the effect to equip, the effect to special summon Synchro, use the effect to see, uh, add Miss Valley and Pop, this all can add back, bring in my Dragon Unity, go into my Glow, Glow's effect to add the Leviathan, uh, Missling, use the Missling effect to equip the Synchro, go into Synchro plays to add the Discard, special summon the Heritage Dragon Seal, Special summon the vibe, then this so I can special summon the equip the ghost, just so I can special summon. Go into the scene for 8, use the effect to add all the equip monsters, use the effect to special summon, use the effect to special summon, go to my scene for 10, and also go into my seal and set to in pass. I, after the second game, I thought it was going to be more of a bigger board, but all I did was just negate his invoker and he passed turn. 
That's why I call it a mystery deck because I have no idea what's the main attention of the goal of the deck is. Maybe it was to go into more of a single play. Maybe he ran out of plays knowing that he had to stop going to gate. He also had lost win, so I have no idea what the deck is about. I was gonna go into game, but he hit me with lost wind. So it wasn't really nothing for me, so all I had to do was go into my link play just so I can try to build up a more board. I had to get rid of my Dragonity because his effect was already negated and it was just been nothing at that point. I set down the Hurricane. So he goes into his play to send all of the uh, life storms he needed in the graveyard. He goes into Cross Shoot. He goes into the Arc Nemesis. And then he uses the effect to call in dragons. I had to quick effect to use seal to start him back. Just so I can get a best special even though I can't use it. But the one thing that kind of hurt it was him returning that monster just so he can use plate spreader zombies effect. Which I just, all I did was just call it. Call it a grave it because it was sent as cost. And I just normal summon attack the game. On to another replay. I do versus four hires with it's been a while since I've seen four hires in play, so it's nice to see what they can really do. So I just go into my special summon, go to my normal summon, go to my single play, effected add, discard, miss valley, go into my link play, use this effect to add the glow, add glow's effect to summon the miscellane, have the synchro equip, use the special summon, special summon the seal. Etc. Etc. There's a lot of combos you can do with Dragon Beatings. It's nice and see them. The thing is, this one I actually kind of do a little bit of misplay. Instead of sitting on two negates, I was sitting on one with a Diddy Crow in hand, which is not typically bad if you know how to really work with your negates. So he goes into his reasoning, he goes to his position soul, he has to raise Tinye, that's so he can have one of these four hires. He used Cerebus to fight to destroy my monster, but he had to force negate. So he goes into his four hire play to go into his link three and then to special number one from board. And then he uses his four hire spell to uh, special on from graveyard, I use DD Crow to banish it and he just go for attack to get that draw and he pass. Which is not bad, it's just not much to where it can honestly stop me. So all I just honestly did was just brought back the armor grand, go for attack to equip, attack him to banish, and I just pass turn off of there. So he had to pass turn for that one turn because he couldn't really do anything, he had to worry about the one at gate. So I try to at least go for game, but he'll be alive just by 100. So I just try to go into more of a play to where I can try to at least bring up some sort of negates. At least add an additional negate. So he goes into his dangers to discard. He attacks Seal, which in my opinion is a waste of a this is a waste of attack phase, because even if I use seal to bounce back anything, he would have just eased his special summon it again. That's is my opinion. Then he goes into unicorn to discard this to return my uh, synchro. Which is, to be honest, not a good idea. Because now that just leaves you right open. And I didn't even have to use my hurricane. I could have just used my armor and just go for game from there. Going on to game... Going on to game 2... I open up with nah. I can only do a setting pass with two hand traps in hand. So I thought he was gonna do his play, but all he did was this normal set two and pass. It's like it's not really helping <laughs> for hires. I, I honestly think for hires has more potential. I just think that he's open up with the first just like me. So knowing that he stops me from synchro summoning, that doesn't really stop me stopping. Me. All I did was just sit on one again this past turn, while still having three hand traps in my hand. So he had to face and fusion to summon Millennial, so that stops me from using any of my hand traps. But instead of negating or trying to stop my effect feeler, all he did is just try to take my seal, which is just a quick effect to just send him back and I can special summon him from my deck 
that is a dragon. So I go into my special summon effect to special summon to Ramus. I could have just summoned Ramus itself to go to my synchro, my link play, but I kind of wasn't just thinking of that time. I think it was still didn't matter, it still opened up to the same board. And this time I actually went for the OTK. On a, uh, to be honest, I added Mr. Wayne, but in reality, I kind of just didn't need Mr. Wayne. Okay, those still was also in the same way as the OTK. Going on to... Up next, I versus PK Fire, which is my honest opinion. I didn't understand what was this player's understanding of PK Fire. I think he just picked it as a, oh, since... This deck is coming out and it's going to be popular. Might as well play it. Tablet deck. And I honestly, I think he should have studied it a little bit more. Because all I honestly did was just put in two negates and a drawing lobber. And that managed to stop him in his play. Even though I know PK Fire can do a lot more, he didn't necessarily do a lot more. He didn't even use the fall blade in his hand. Like, he normally summon uses the Fetch Spice Summon, then he goes to Cherubini. And I understand he used Farfoot to, to banish my seal, even though he knows that seal is a quick effect bounce. A quick effect chibi ass cost. So I didn't understand what was his main goal. I negated one of his cards, but he managed to still go into Cherubini, which is just. Makes no sense. He could have went into his Dante. I don't know why he didn't went to his Dante. He could have went to his Beatrice. It just kind of made no sense. That's why I kind of didn't understand what was this uh, PK Fire player was actually doing. I don't know if he just was new at the deck or he just picked it up because it was just going to get popular. Like it was just kind of just weird. And then the last, I kind of just went into a another play, but he kind of just scooped at that point because he knew what he did was wrong. Up next, this is kind of the final replay. Is um, my Drag Unity versus Prank Kids, which is actually nice to see Drag Prank Kids coming out and play, even though I rarely see them in play. Or I would, if I do see them, I see them with Invo, or I to see them with a bunch of hand traps. It's like Prank Kids has more options now because of this Link one, but people just kind of still do the bare minimum for them. Or just do this slightly less things with them. Like, it just makes no sense. So, he tried to go into his Link 2 to go his battle so he can protect his monsters. Which is, eh, okay, but I wasn't trying to try to take out his monsters. I was trying to take out his spells and traps. Because I know he was just going to protect his monsters. But he, now he has no protection. And knowing what was in his graveyard, it was actually pranks. Like, prank his pranks. I don't know why he said prank his pranks. To set it as a bait, knowing that I could have just easily taken it out and he could have just easily got at least a free draw one for it. So I go to my combo goo, miscellane, miscellane's effect to equip, uses glow's effect to special summon the uh, synchro, go into my single play, go to my SC play, like I said, etc. Like I said, the Dragon Indies have a lot of options. I just kind of went to this option to more help me under. Uh, to help put my monsters aboard and also set up my graveyard for a more follow up or later gameplay. So if I actually do bring out my Unity Gram, I have more resources to banish a special and I can bring out Tempest to banish a special to bring my back Link. So he goes into his Link 1, in my opinion he shouldn't have done that. I sh think that he should have just kept with the fusion. I think the fusion itself would have been enough to trigger my bounce back. And knowing that he still has the link one, I understand the link one is only for your opponent's turn, but he could have at least saved it. While still using all their effects, he could have essentially chain block and it destroyed my monsters, but he necessarily didn't do it. So going into my turn, I just opened up to another Dragon Bedrine, which is just nothing. All I can just do is just discard, add normal summon, use the effect of special summon, I can go into my Dragon Bedrine combo. That's why I like that uh, level 3. I can easily to, to go into my Dragonity as much as I want with Glow, and then Glow's effect is just special summon. The one thing I kind of wish it was Glow do, instead of saying a defense, it could have went from attack, because I could have went into more of an aggressive play. So I use this effect to 
consume Bowel and get rid of this monster to go into Borlord and then he just passed turn. On to the deck. This is my build of Dragon Dees. I have to add the forehand trap because we get into the point to where more decks like PK Fire and a lot of meta decks is gonna come out as best as you use certain hand traps. I also use reasoning. A lot of people don't use reasoning, but like I said, it's kinda gonna be a low budget deck. I use reasoning just so I can get a free monster on board, it doesn't matter which it is. You have multiple levels you can choose from. If you manage to choose ten, you got ten, eight, eight, seven, six, fours and twos. You have multiple levels to really pick from. Uh, I do use three of the Jack Unity. I use one seal, the heretic. I only use one of him because if I could, I could recycle him, but I really don't want to recycle him. I do have the Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend just in case there's a lot of special summon monsters on the field. I can just banish and burn. Uh, I do have Black Oak Dragon as you see in plays that I have. I have two of the Jack Unity R Rare, which is really good, and especially the New one to Dragon Unity, not, uh, well this is not old, this is kind of an old one, but not a lot of people play it. It's just kind of a banish of Dragon Unity monster that's a banish and he will destroy. You can special summon one of your Dragon Unity synchro monster for 3 that less from your extra deck. For my side deck, I kind of have to really think which is going to be a low budget. I know Lancia would be good because it helps decks from banishing, for example Orcus and uh... Kind of like the Life Swarm deck that really relied on banishing. I kind of didn't really use it, or I did use it, but I couldn't open up to it. I used the Effect Veilers, the Regeki, which is cheap. The probably the most expensive thing is going to be is a Heavy Feather Duster. I used two Dark Ruler No More, three Cyclones, and these, these three Soul Drains. Other than that, the deck is pretty good. I'll probably put up the price of how much it really is, counting all the cards. And that's it for today. D-Boys out.